I'm uber depressed. True blood ended last night. Now I have nothing to do with my life. Fudge my life with a chocolate stick. So, as you might know, I wear my True Blood shirt sometimes. So, if you want to buy this shirt for me, my True Blood shirt that I sometimes rarely wear, it can be yours for the low, low price of $12,000 plus shipping and handling and tax for free. So, yeah, I can never, ever, under any circumstances, wear this shirt again. So, yep, that's just four years of my life down the tubes. So you might be wondering what I thought of the True Blood finale. Anyway, this is my review on the 30th anniversary Blu-ray of The Toxic Avenger. I like that green up there at the top. It's like green, like, to like toxic green. It's pretty cool. I have two trauma movies. I have that and I have Poultry Geist, Night of the Chicken Dead. Those are probably two of my favorite trauma movies. Actually, I've only really seen a few of them. I think Redneck Zombies was one, and I tried getting into Tromeo and Juliet and something like that, but I just I couldn't get into it. These are my my top two trauma movies. So, if I ever release Pumpkin Man, maybe Lloyd Kaufman will buy buy it from me and put it in the the trauma cinematic universe. I'll I'll just say that. Pumpkin Man, Pumpkin Man 2 take place in Tromaville, apparently. Buy my movie, Lloyd Kaufman! Help me out! He's not listening, is he? Alright, so, Toxic Avenger. What can we say about it? It's a weird, crazy, bizarre cult movie that was made in 1984. It's, yeah, this was not produced by any big company. It was it was a, it's an independent little company that is so, you know, it's so hard, it's hard to describe. I've seen it maybe three times. The first time I saw it, like, in October 2012, that I made Megan watch it, and then I bought the Blu-ray and watched it again. So we have uh, this nerdy dork of a thing, his name is Melvin, he's He's a t like a tiny little dorky little dweeb. The he's even nerdier than me. Can you imagine that? I mean, I am the nerdiest of nerds in the whole entire world. Ask Rotting Cesspool, he'll tell you. And then you have this little weird little thing named Melvin, who is like a mop boy at a spa place or a spa gym, where all these people go to lose weight and pick on little Melvin. And then you have the uh, the bullies who, for some reason, go around in their car and just kill people. Like, they just drive them over and they take selfies. Well, not, not really a selfie, but they just take pictures of their, their kills. Like, for for example, there's if you haven't seen this movie, there's going to be spoilers. Like, for let's say there's this little 12-year-old boy who goes out on his little bike at night, and they roll by, and he's like, Hi, little boy, you're so cute. And they run his ass over. Literally. They run him over, and then when he's not dead, they go back and they run his brains over. You can see a 12-year-old boy's brain splat against the street. That is crazy messed up. And awesome! It's so funny! And then they, the girls get out, like, these little 17 to 18-year-old girls, they have, like, no problem with it at all. They think it's funny, and they think it's cute, and they take pictures of it. So if they remake it someday, they'll be like, selfie with a dead 12-year-old. And then they'll post it on Facebook. I guess they'll have Facebook and Chomaville and the Toxic Avenger remake someday, won't they? All right, so the, um, it, the kind of, Melvin's story kind of reminds me of a, just a pinch of Carrie. Like, they they make him dress up in this little weird ballerina tutu outfit, and he they make him kiss a pig, and then, well, they have, like, the lights off, so for some reason all the lights off are in the spa gymnasium. And then he he's embarrassed, and he runs out, and he falls out the window into some toxic waste sludge for, that has the, the, bar the barrel of it, and they have, like, there's no top on it at all. He just falls in, he gets off. He starts decomposing and for some reason melts and burns on fire. Then he goes home and kind of turns into the, the Toxic Avenger. But later they call him Toxie. But they don't call him Toxie in this one, I don't believe. 
so then we have the uh, the mayor, mayor. Uh, I can't remember his name. It was some, some, some kind of weird name. The mayor kind of he hears about the toxic Avenger and he wants to kind of kill him or do do away with him. But people think he's a vigilante hero. He's the hero this town deserves. Like the Dark Knight. Only like a worse, more brutal Dark Knight. So first, there's this uh, this group of criminals. One's dressed as like a cross-dressing with a like a Mexican with a big old beard, has a blonde wig and lipstick. Gross. Right accessible would have a field day with him. He'd probably want to tap for that. So then he has a toxic shows up and he beats the shit out of those criminals. And he just like he has like superhuman strength, and then he you know the the police well he's they're saving a he's saving a police officer for some reason it's a police officer that's being harassed and criminalized. The next there's these uh, like robbers at this taco joint, it's like a ta taco place, and there's the Holly's this one guy has like a two face and he they sh they aim a gun at a baby. Like, I think I read that the actor who did that kind of had problems with that afterwards, and he kind of... What movie has a criminal holding a gun on a baby? I mean, that's like the pictures you see on Facebook sometimes of these deadbeat parents. There's like one video of someone giving a baby a tattoo. Lucky. Alright, so, yeah, the Toxic Avenger, he, like, she, like, he, she shows up, and he shows this criminal's face in the fry, the, you know, the, the fry oil, and the... They get all burned, and he makes a Sunday out of a guy's face. And there's a blind girl in there who has a dog, and sadly the dog gets it. But you can see the dog's like breathing with all these little supposed to be like intestines and blood on them. So it's it's all it's all in good fun. If you're a hot blind girl between the ages of 18 and 40, call me. No one ever calls me, so I don't give a shit no more. So, Toxie and the blind girl kind of start a little relationship, which is very similar to Fantastic Four, you know, the thing, the monster that, you know, he's like a rock monster who, like, starts up a relationship with this hot, blind, black girl in that one. If you're a hot, blind, black girl, call me. Whatever. I don't give a shit. So he goes around doing stopping all these crimes, and then the the one like the main the main bad guy who made who kind of was behind the uh, him falling into the, the the toxic waste and running the little twelve year old boy's skull over. He gets after him. He, he chases after him. He tries to you know runs him off the road. Well, he gets on top of him and runs off off the road in his death proof car. And then then the military is after him, and all the, and then the town stick up for him, and his mom kind of doesn't want nothing to do with him, and she shows up at the end. There, everyone's all, oh, we need this monster in our life. And he, even though, like, the monster, like, Toxie, he, like, rips the mayor's guts out. And they're okay with it. Like, the, the military and all the town, they're just like, you know, whatever, he's our hero, yay! So, you know, I would give this movie B+, plus, I think. I tried watching the sequel once, and it took, like, it got to, I got, like, maybe 20, 30 minutes in, I just, eh, I couldn't get into it, but... Maybe someday down the road I'll watch two and three and four. Okay, so Halloween's coming up. Well, two months. And this coming Friday, we're going to have a Halloween store in our mall. I am super excited. As you can tell, I already got my pumpkin shirt on. Because I'm really, really into Halloween. I'm hoping to get a Halloween tattoo right here. Yeah. So this Halloween, I'm going to be reviewing some. I'm going to be reviewing stuff. I'm going to be reviewing things and other cool shit. So and tomorrow, the uh, season four Blu-ray of The Walking Dead comes out. I'm so excited, even though that season was terrible. Yes, The Walking Dead season four, like the second half, was just really boring. Like, the only episodes you'd have to watch would be episodes 8 and 16, if you're into The Walking Dead. Just, just yeah, just watch episodes 8 and 16 of season 4. That's all you need to see to catch up. Alright. Well, I guess my work here is done. If you ever want a good...
Troma double feature, watch Toxic Avenger and Poultrygeist.